This uh, session's about Open Drupal, which is um, an initiative to help people learn how to get into Drupal and start careers in Drupal. So I'm Headley Smith um, from Agile Collective. Um, we're a web development company uh, specialising in Drupal. Um, and we make websites for charities, uh, academic institutions, and uh, some public sector uh, clients as well. Oops. And oh, hi, I'm Chris Bin. Uh, I work for White Fuse. We're a web development agency specialising in charities too. Um, so, Open Drupal's a community initiative um, with the aim of making it easier to learn Drupal to help um, help young people uh, get into Drupal and start careers in Drupal. Um, it's kind of uh, built on the kind of open source ethos of the Drupal community. Um, the idea that um, you know more needs to be done to help young people be able to learn Drupal and actually get into careers um, and get a job in Drupal. So. A big reason for, for starting this initiative is because um, I feel that starting a career in Drupal can be really difficult. Um, when I was younger and I was starting out uh, learning how to uh, develop websites, I found it really difficult at some points. Um, a lot of the documentation and tutorials that are online are very confusing. There's a lot of material out there and it's really difficult to know what to what to, to look for and what you should learn. So with this initiative the idea is to try and help people, help guide people, um, help help set them on the path towards uh, towards a, a Drupal career. Uh, of course there are lots of uh, lots of courses out there in uh, you know universities and more traditional establishments but a lot of them I don't think are right for everyone. I certainly um, didn't feel they were right for me. I started a computing A-level and after about a month or two of learning Visual Basic, drawing squares and creating useless programs, I, I moved on and um, started to, to teach myself. So I think that... Um, we can provide you know, opportunities for, for young people today, uh, and for, for everyone really, but um, my particular sort of motivation is for young people and to give them, give them you know, better opportunities. Um, so I think that um, some of the ways we, we can try to do this would be to, first of all, develop a, a curriculum um, and a toolkit to guide people on what to learn. A lot of people, when they first hear about Drupal or they're first getting into web development, they'll go to drupal.org, go to the documentation section and probably leave quite quickly. Um, you know, it's fantastic documentation, but it's not right for people who are just getting into uh, Drupal who, who, you know, could really benefit from more guidance and more just signposting really. So with a curriculum that we develop as a community, we could, we could make sure as a community that we're providing a resource to guide people when they first um, start to learn about Drupal. And this would also help companies who are implementing this curriculum uh, have something that they can give to people to make it much easier for them to, uh, to, to start their, their career off. Um, and I think we could also support apprenticeship programs. I think apprenticeships are a really fantastic way for people to get into a uh, career in Drupal. Um, being around Drupal developers, having, being able to ask them questions, I think, is incredibly valuable. And apprenticeships are a really growing uh, way for people to get into careers uh, in general. Uh, in Drupal, I think... We've got a really great community and a lot of great companies out there. And if we can get people in those companies learning from the people around them in an apprenticeship, I think that's going to be a real key way to, in, to get people to, um, 
to be able to learn much more easily. And, you know, we've got a really great community that have invested a lot of time in figuring out how to do things in an open source way, how to collaborate internationally. And I think we can apply those things that we've learned to learning Drupal in itself. You know, we're really great at building modules and coding um, and managing thousands of people across the world. So I think we can use those skills that we've, that we've got to, um, to create tools to help people learn Drupal in the same way. So at the moment, there are a lot of, um, a lot of digital apprenticeship schemes and a lot of similar programs cropping up all over the place. Um, in you know, East London, there's some great programs. Uh, General Assembly are doing some really good stuff. Um, and there's the Tech City Apprenticeship programs. There's a lot of really great um, opportunities for young people and, um, and people in general. Um, and I think, you know, as a Drupal community, we should try and get a piece of the pie. We should try to um, invest in, in these programs within, within our own community. And with, with open source becoming more accepted, um, more, much more uptake of open source and Drupal, um, yesterday the, uh, the keynote you know, was um, uh, Mark talking about the uptake of, of open source and Drupal in government. Um, and worldwide in, in the corporate world, um, Drupal and open source is being really taken up and accepted. You know, we're going to need to create new routes for people to get into careers, both for the people who want to learn and for the, for the companies themselves. So this, um, as I've said, this kind of started a bit with me being young and trying to figure out how to be a, a web developer and teaching myself and thinking, you know, this could be much easier if there was a bit of guidance. And um, within Agile Collective, we, um, we really support, you know, education um, and these types of initiatives. And we, uh, we took an apprentice on about a year ago-ish, maybe a bit longer. Um, and when we did that, we thought we'd try to document what we did so we could share it with others. And so we could try to, to make it scale um, and try to, um, you know, do it the way that we do things in the open source community and try to share what we're doing to help others. And it worked out pretty well. Um, I won't embarrass Maria by pointing her out over there. Um, yeah, you know, it worked out really well. It was a really great experience for us. It was fantastic for the company. And... Um, um, that has inspired us to con and inspired me to continue to uh, work on this initiative to try and, you know, help others and get other people uh, doing similar things. So we want to build something useful, uh, something useful for people new to Drupal, help them to learn more easily, um, something that can help employers uh, put in place training programs more easily. Add something for the whole community to continue, so that you know Drupal can continue. We're going to need more developers coming up from the bottom. Um, we're going to need resources for people to uh, be able to learn Drupal more easily, so we can help you know all of these uh, all of these things. And we have some big ideas. Um, you know, can we make uh, can training to become a Drupal developer be, be an alternative to university? There's a big increase in different opportunities for people. Um, why not have a Drupal career, a Drupal apprenticeship, as a real viable and common alternative? Um, and can we get Drupal companies training in-house more and working together to share their knowledge? And can, as the Drupal community, we build and contribute back to tools together to help big uh, ambition of ours is, you know, get Drupal in schools. Uh, it's the year of code this year. Um, coding is now part of the national curriculum in the UK. Uh, and that's, that's good. Um, a big idea of Open Drupal is to get people to learn more relevant practical skills that they're going to be able to use in uh, companies when they get a job. 
Uh, getting Drupal in schools, I think, is completely achievable. I think it's achievable um, to get Drupal as a recognised qualification. Um, that is surprisingly not far, that far away. You know, we're really growing as an industry, and I think it is completely possible for us to have a recognised qualification for Drupal. Maybe we could build an online platform, um, Drupal Academy, similar to Code Academy, something like that, where you could go on and be guided through how to learn Drupal from zero to, you know, I've got a job. We could, you know, who who could we let, who could we get to learn Drupal? Um, there wasn't really any need for this slide, but I thought I'd put it in anyway. Um, there's a lot of pictures of cats and laptops online. <laughs> Ever Google cat and laptop? You'd be really surprised. Yeah, my favourite's the bottom right one. So, um, what have we done now? So we have built a curriculum. Uh, we've prototyped it. Uh, we've prototyped it in Google Docs. Um, it works. Um, and we've designed this curriculum to be flexible and modular. So the curriculum is built up of lots of little modules um, with the idea being that you can take these modules and customise them for your own company uh, or for whatever training scheme you want to implement them within. And the kind of methodologies behind it are that you could... Um, you could even just sort of self-learn. You, you, could, you could have a teacher up standing up at the front explaining things to people, but something that we found works really well is if you give people the resources to learn and then you just say, go and learn. And if they're in a group, they, could, they will work together and self-organise often, talk to each other and, and help each other out. And that really lowers the barrier to people implementing, uh, implementing these things. And the whole, the whole curriculum is built about around learning practical and real-world relevant skills. You know, Code Academy is great. It's got an 80 or 90% dropout rate. And what you learn there, you're not going to be able to use to actually get paid to, to work. You know, it's, it's, we're going to try to teach really practical skills that you can actually use in a job. So, yeah, this is an example of one of the modules. We'll do a little kind of demo and walkthrough of it a bit later, but it kind of has sort of learning objectives and aims, um, resources, a bit of an intro. Um, some of it can be delivered by someone standing up front, the stuff that's got a green heading, um, but it can be just kind of walked through as an individual. Um, so, yeah, you could use this curriculum in a company to upskill existing staff. Um, if there's an individual in a company, it's, you know, it's a really low barrier to being able to implement this. Um, in an internship and an apprenticeship as a group, um, it can be used to, um, uh, to train up a group. Um, and uh, you know, for any training program, really, it's really designed to be as flexible as possible. Um, as I say, it's prototyped at the moment. And we really want to get feedback from people and try to encourage everyone to contribute uh, as a community. And currently, the um, what we've called the Open Drupal Foundation, which is kind of like a, a baseline of um, uh, where we want to try and get people up to, we kind of split out into four parts. Um, and Crispin, can, Crispin can maybe tell us a bit about how we got there. Right, so um, if this may be a shamble, so I have a four-month-old boy and I haven't been to sleep in those four <laughs> months. So if this goes into a bit of a ramble, you blame him, not my lack of preparation. Um, so yeah, this, this foundation thing, we met up in December, Headley, I, uh, James, Chandeep, no, Chandeep wasn't there, a few people for a whole day to look at where the curriculum was at and to sort of formulate a plan for taking it forward. And <clears throat> what we quickly came to realise was there wasn't enough of us to do the work that we wanted to do. And so what we did was focus it down onto a, a foundation, something that 
uh, you could put into a week or two weeks. I think we, we settled on t- uh, what can we learn in two weeks. And there were various motivations for that. One being the uh, we had a representative from Happy Computers, not Pat, his, his colleague Sheena, who was at the meeting with us. They were starting uh, a two-week apprenticeship scheme uh, in the, that's just finished now. So we basically had, say, a month, six weeks, to get the curriculum into a two-week uh, block that could, that could be picked up by um, almost novices. So in that, we were looking to not only to make people interested in Drupal, but for them to, on a daily basis, have something that is getting better and better, their own product, their own site. And uh, Headley had already done some work on like a, a rapid deployment using Pantheon, getting people a Drupal site ready, done, in you know, a matter of hours. So we kind of built on that, and then made it so that on a daily basis you have something new, <coughs> something achievable, that, um, that's yours, and then you're returning back to that again and again, and, and making this, this thing that's yours better. So... Um, the, the one and two, this intro and deep dive, is kind of where we've been focused so far, um, which then has just been, I, I guess, it's a, a beta test, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. We can so um, yeah. the the apprenticeship ran based on, based largely on our documentation of the those first two things, the intro and, and deep dive. The apprenticeships are. Practical training in a company placement. So they have two weeks doing, uh, doing the course that we did, and then they are placed for um, a year, is it? For a year in a company. We, at White Fuse, uh, will be taking one of the apprentices. Um, Chandeep is taking one, and a few others are off somewhere else. Um, so the idea is for the foundation as well, is getting, the, uh, getting an apprentice from a company perspective billable as soon as possible. So they are um, less of a, a, let's seen as less of a drain on, on resources. So with the curriculum, what we're also trying to do is then that curriculum will be built on throughout the entire, say, year of an apprenticeship whereby we have these resources and we are building on them, sharing all this knowledge of how we get someone billable quickly. And so that would be different for, for different agencies, for different organisations. Um, the, the Happy Apprenticeship, I don't, really, I don't really feel massively qualified to talk about this. I mean, we'll, we'll have a Q&A at the end where, uh, where Pat will probably be uh, more the person to, to talk about it. But running now, this is the, the second... Drupal apprenticeship that has run, and uh, we're dead pleased with it. To, to, to have uh, Mohammed here, one of our apprentices at the front. Uh, so yeah, seven seven apprentices recruited from thirty five applicants, following our um, foundation. And there may have been more applicants actually. There might have been more. Yeah, right. Bigger number than that, yeah. yeah. Good. Good. That's great, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, the point of this is it, it, it's working and we have real world use for what we have developed so far and with, with an extra year where I, I will certainly be dedicating a lot of time into building on the curriculum with, uh, with the apprentice that White Fuse take on and, and feeding into, uh, into that knowledge. Oh, the uh, available for interview now, still, still another placement, I think, that we can take? More at least, yeah. yeah. So... Anyone who uh, might think about taking an apprentice on, then have a word with, with Pat. Uh, so the next steps, really, we, we, we need more help, I guess. We need more people involved, and we, we have a, the, the curriculum as, as its bare bones, but, the, but it's, in, it's in flux, it's in development, and, uh, and we'd like some more help. There's a, there's a group... On, uh, on Drupal for, um, for the project, so you can join us there. We set up a, a Google Plus community as well, if you want to join that, and we have uh, regular Hangouts to update on progress. And I guess what we're, our ambitions for the moment are get the word out and get more people involved and see how far we can go, I think. 
try and get some funding and um, get a site together. So, yeah, so this is how you can help. Um, maybe come and do some mentoring at, a, at, at the next apprenticeship. Um, you can join the group, join the discussion, join the project. So it's all open. Or tweet about it, tell people about it. There's, uh, it's actually more of a turnout than I expected for people, so thanks for coming. But yeah, could be more, and spread the word, I guess. The end. Yeah, thanks everyone.